All right, we're going to move on. I want to ask, whatever happened to special counsel Robert Hurt and Biden's illegal documents? Or put another way, where's Waldo? I have to talk about Waldo. Joining me now, Jonathan Turley, Fox News contributor, George Washington University law professor, constitutional law expert. Jonathan, welcome back, as always. Where is Waldo? Thank you. They're busting Trump, but whatever happened <laughs> to the Biden documents, special counsel and uh, investigation? What can you tell us? I can tell you nothing at all because we've seen no signs of life out of that investigation of President Biden. Now, it may be uh, that her is just a better prosecutor because there were nothing but leaks with regard to the uh, Trump investigation. Uh, and all of the leaks were clearly designed to undermine and hurt Trump. Uh, it's been radio silence with her. So that could be a good thing. But we haven't heard the usual things coming out of his investigation, which would be people being called to the, uh, to the grand jury, subpoenas being issued. Those are things that come out because the third parties are not ordinarily required to be silent about it. You're allowed to say that you're going to a grand jury. So we've seen no indication of that. And it's just a striking contrast. You know, with the Trump investigations, prosecutors come out like B-52s. And when it comes to Biden, it's sort of like a crop duster. I mean, we, we just can't really peg where he is right now. Here's the thing. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, the, he, I mean, he should get a statement from Biden. You wrote that in this op-ed piece. Usually you get a statement uh, of some kind. He hasn't gotten one. I don't know whether Biden is not cooperating or he is cooperating or whatever. But um, Jonathan, Charlie, my problem with this whole story is taking documents from a, si a secure skiff as a senator, taking documents out and then doing it again as a vice president is illegal. You can't do that. Presidents can do that, but he can't do that. So why is this taking so long? Why is this guy her? I mean, it, it, literally, where's Waldo? Because to me, this is cut and dry. But something's going on here, and that troubles me. Well, what's odd, Larry, is that we know why Trump took the documents, right? He's been open about that. He insists that he has a right to documents. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a roaring debate about that. With Biden, what he has said makes no sense at all, not in a sense of disagreeing with an interpretation. Biden is saying that this was all an inadvertent removal of documents. Mm. Now, in no universe I know of does that hold together, because these documents, just taking the ones he removed as vice president, uh, those documents were not just moved. They were moved repeatedly, divided, and ended up in multiple locations. That's not inadvertence. That indicates someone's intent. You know, what is also weird about this is that the, you would think the prosecutors would want to get a statement early from the president. The reason is that when you have a, a, a potential target who is saying something that doesn't hold together, you often want to get them to make a statement to federal investigators because mm -hmm. that's a separate crime. That gives you a crime within the, any statute of limitations. That's what they did with Michael Flynn. That's what they did with a lot of Trump associates. They ran to them to get them to make a statement to federal investigators. There's no indication that has happened here. There's no indication that Biden's been interviewed at all. We just don't know. Um, has this guy heard said anything publicly? I mean, I say, where's, where's Waldo? I'm being a little facetious. But the reality is we haven't seen a thing or heard a thing from him. And again, I come back to this point. I mean, how come a journalist can't ask him, Robert Herr, isn't it illegal for a U.S. senator to remove documents from a skiff. How about that? I'd like to hear somebody ask that question. Right. Yeah, he's not going to answer public questions. And look, if he's doing an aggressive investigation, then more power to him. His, his team is the only one that hasn't leaked. What concerns a lot of us is that the reason they haven't leaked is they might not be doing a heck of a mm -hmm. lot. Now, that's, but that gets us back to the need to get a statement from Biden. That business with his being a senator... Uh, the statute of limitations has passed, although he could argue that retaining them uh, comes still within the statute of limitations, and that's possible. But it, it's still a mystery as to 
why we haven't heard that the president was interviewed. We're at the six-month mark. Mm -hmm. if, if most prosecutors would have wanted to talk to the potential target within days if he's if he's giving these conflicting or, or really, in my view, nonsensical answers. I, I, I don't see how you could possibly look at where all these documents were found in a house, in a garage, in an office, and say that that's all one magical inadvertence. Mm. Jonathan, last one, uh, quickly. You know, I, I just interviewed Mike Pence today, and I asked him again. I did, I did this, I asked him months ago. Mike Pence, former vice president, said, you can't remove documents. You can read them in a skiff in the National Archives or some secure place, but vice presidents do not have the authority to take them out. Presidents do. Vice presidents do not. Now, again, I'm waiting for some journalist to ask Biden about that. Not just her. Just ask Biden. Biden keeps saying everything's malarkey. Someone should ask him. It's against the law, Jonathan. You can't do what he did. Well, the problem with Biden's account is that he's saying that he never intended to remove anything classified. And what has a lot of us curious is that we know he was working on a book involving foreign relations. And there's a reason why you would want some of these documents, presumably, mm -hmm. if you're working on a book. So there's a motive there. There's a timing factor that fits. Mm -hmm. And there's an explanation that doesn't really hold up. Mm -hmm. So the question is, where's Robert Herr? And mm -hmm. has he gotten a statement to investigators from this president? Yep. Yep, Jonathan Turley. Where, um, I think the second question is, where's Waldo? It's a cartoon character. <laughs> cartoon character. It's a famous cartoon character. Jonathan Turley, thank you ever so yes. much. We really appreciate your time. Thanks, Larry. All right.